if you're dual diagnosed, then heaven help you because if you're a drug addict, you're, you, there's a stigma. If you have mental health problems, there's a stigma. So it, it's two stigmas in one. I expected them to make me, well, to to, tr to treat my condition as they would do it, um, a broken foot, you know, to mend it and and very early on I realised that wasn't going to happen. I was more or less just turned away um, and asked to come back when I was feeling better, which, was, which I thought was odd. Um, I went to see my doctor several times after this and he mentioned the hospital um, and I didn't ever use the hospital again. When I found um, powerful street drugs, I, I thought I'd found the answer. My experience of mental health service was one that I didn't really want to um, experience any further. When somebody goes on to a, a ward to be treated for a mental health problem, if they're also using drugs, they're very afraid to admit the, the, the misuse of drugs. Uh, for fear of being arrested. One of the witnesses we spoke to told us an amazing story about sniffer dogs being brought onto a mental health ward to sniff out uh, illicit substances. And if people were caught misusing drugs on a psychiatric ward, then they were likely to be arrested and taken away. Dual diagnosis as a term, it's, to me, it's a professional term. It's like, a, it's a word that professionals will understand, you know, and when they say dual diagnosis, it normally means mental health and substance misuse. If you look at the literature, it's a bit of a narrower focus, and it means people usually with a psychotic disorder, or sometimes just people with schizophrenia, and who are using drugs or alcohol. Medically, I think, and for professionals, it's a, a term that we all understand, but I don't know if the actual people we work with understand what that means. It's a way of uh, suggesting these problems without addressing them. Um, and I think even when I'm at my most buoyant, I've got more than